Hello everyone, in this video I will be telling you about assembly language. First of all, the introduction of assembly language. Assembly language is a low level language. Uh, using assembly language, we can directly interact with hardware and can also develop application software. This comes in second generation. Now, this is very important. This comes in second generation assembly language. Instruction of assembly language are easier than machine language and easy to uh, memorize. And assembly language instructions can have following fields. Now, these are the four fields of assembly language. Number one is label, which is optional. You may write it or not. No issues in that. Second is assembly language instructions like add, subtract, uh, division, multiplication. Then operands, operands like AX and Y in the next example just given below. Then the comment like addition of AX and Y. So L1 colon, this is the label. Add is the assembly language instruction. AX and uh, comma Y are the operands and the addition of AX and Y is the comment. For assembly language programming, we need the following tools. Now what are the tools needed is number one is editor assembler linker and loader now these are the data types in assembly language how to declare uh, declare variable now this is like xdb uh, and a question mark is there that is unknown xdb is unknown that ways uh, db i will be telling you the uh, just what it is uh, then xdb5 it is for initialize ydb in single uh, codes, it's 5, then it's a sky value. ZDB, this number, then the binary. WDB31H is hexa. Fine. Next, I was just telling about the DB part. This is DB is for defined byte. DB is for defined byte. So these are the data types. Defined byte, uh, the byte and bit capacity of it is 1 byte. And for bit, it would be, you already know that 1 byte is equals to 8 bit. Then DW is define word, this 2 byte and 16. So one DB is a defined byte. DW is define word. DD is define double word. That is 4 uh, byte capacity it has. DQ is define chord, 8 it is. And DT is 10. Fine. How to declare constant? Now this is the way in which assembly language the constant has to be declared. That is x e q u 5. How to declare string in inverted comma x d b. I have already told is defined by uh, inverted commas hello. How to declare array in array x d b 10. Whatever you write you write in a bracket. Fine. Or other way is y d b 5 comma 6 comma 9 comma 2. Or ZDB 10 DUB 0. Now these are the registers which has used for transferring information. Uh, now registers in 8086 CPU is AX is for accumulator, BX is for base address, CX is counter, DX is port register. So they are used for data fine and all in this page are having 16 bit capacity. Fine then we have uh, SI is for source index, DI is for destination index, SS is for tag segment, uh, then CS is for code segment, DS is for data segment, ES is for extra segment, SP is for stack pointer. Uh, continuing with this, uh, BP is for base pointer. So all the above were used for address. Fine. So the address which were used were one is uh, ss stag segment code segment data segment extra segment stag pointer and uh, bp is for uh, base pointer then cf is carry flag uh, zf is zero flag sf is sign flag and of is overflow flag so they are having one bit uh, capacity now machine language. What is a machine language? They are just telling first about machine. Then they were telling about assembly language. They say machine language. It is the only language understood by the computer without using a translation program. Machine language is the fundamental language of the computer and is written as string of binary ones and zeros. 
the circuit of a computer is wired in such a way that it immediately recognizes the machine language and convert it into the electronic signals needed to run the computer a typical program instruction is this fine then advantages and limitations of machine language this is the advantage uh, machine dependent yes machine language is machine dependent difficult error prone difficult to modify now we talk about assembly language and assembly language uh, numeric operation codes of machine language is substituted by mnemonics what is mnemonics mnemonics is a kind of mental trick which help us to remember like if i say i have to perform addition then i just write add a double d so the example of mnemonics is given just below a computer may be des designated to interrupt the machine code of uh, four ones fifteen as the operation subtract but it is easier for a human being to remember as sub so the set of mnemonic instructions translating by the assembler to a product corresponding to machine language code so this is assembly uh, this is assembly source code this is the input this is assembler this is output this is machine language fine so there is a assembly, assembly source code there is an input there is a uh, in between the assembler then the output and finally the machine lang uh, language it converts so assembler is used to convert assembly language to machine language fine uh, the assembler is a system program who converts assembly language source code to machine language the advantages of assembly over machine language easy to understood and use easier to modify easy to locate and correct errors power of machine language so they are all uh, the advantages of assembly language over machine language now assembly language program uh, development tools one is an editor uh, in editor they say an editor is a program which when run in a system give us facility to create and modify text fields these are several letters editors such as notepad etc the editor gives us all the flexibility to in, in uh, insert line delete lines words etc so this is the work of an editor this these points we have already done if you remember in the previous uh, page it was then there is a linker for mod modularity of our program it is better to break program into several subroutines it is even better to put the common routine into a separate file these files are assembled separately and after that multiply files multiple files can be linked together to form a single file the file containing the common routine can linked together by a program known as linker fine this is a linker then there is a loader loader is a program which assign absolute address to the program by adding all the offset the address from where the program is loaded into memory this work is done by loader then there is a debugger debugger help us to detail at the logical errors that could not be detached by the assembler fine i think this much is enough for this uh, uh, this much video next i will be telling you in the next video thank you and have a nice day